Hello fellow 3D enthusiast, my name is Ian, and today I want to share how you can do lightning fast UV unwrapping. Last week I shared about box mapping and how amazingly time saving that can be, but you can actually end up doing UV unwrapping really fast if you choose to do so, and here's how. Okay, so you can see right here I've got this kind of fun kit bash together model, and you can see it has some textures. But if we look at the material settings, this is all box mapping, like I showed you last week. And this little building is made up of a whole bunch of different models. And maybe we want them to be a little bit more specifically textured. Maybe we do want to go ahead and add some UVs to them. So how are we going to do that real fast? Well, if we select all the objects that we want to texture, as of about 2.8 or something, you're able to go into edit mode for multiple objects at the same time which can be really useful if we want to quickly UV unwrap something. So let's just go U and use cube projection for now. And you can see we get this mess of textures all at once. And they're all unwrapped, which is pretty insane, pretty quick. Let's say we want to give these their own material. Maybe we want um, some more complex texturing going on. Shout out to Ian Hubert for this texture. If you take a look, I got it on his Patreon, which is super nice of him to provide. But this has all sorts of crazy fun details that we can just throw all over this thing. And if we just hook it right up to the base color, maybe we want it going into the roughness. Maybe we want it going into the normal through a bump node. And now, if we take a look at this panel up on top, it's kind of crazy. It looks like a painting or something. Let's turn down the strength a little bit, and maybe we can control the... Um, roughness with a color ramp in a second here. There we go. Okay, we've got a simple material built. Let's be a little bit more specific about how this stuff is all thrown on. Now we can just go Control L and share the materials between all of the selected objects. And since we UV unwrapped them already, they're already fairly well projected. And you can just take the panels that you've got and just scale them down and move them to wherever you want them just throw them on there real quick and if we take a look this is a rather interesting panel we've got going on and we can just do that with all the panels if you wish and just throw them all over the place onto different interesting little bits and once again you can select two at once if you want and just drop them in the same place if you want them to be similar there we go that's some interesting texturing going on there and here Let's put this one somewhere with crazy little glitchy stuff. There we go. Cool. And that is how you do UV unwrapping really quickly, and I hope that helped you out. Normally on this channel, I share visual effects techniques that you can do in Blender, and if you're interested in learning more about visual effects in Blender, I've created a completely free video for you. And in this quick video, I share five different tips for integrating your CG creations into real life footage. There's a link in the description for that if you're interested, but hey, I'd say that's about it for this video. I hope you have an excellent day, and cheers!